Question 4. Integrate 1 over x squared minus 6x plus 9. Let's see if we can factor x squared minus 6x plus 9. So we start with some brackets. We put the x's in because this term times this term have got to give us this term here. And then here and here need to be the factors of the 9. So let's try putting 3 in. And because this is a plus here, the sign of this and the sign of this must be the same. But we're going to get a 3x there and we're going to get a 3x there. We want minuses, so that means we can just put minus signs in there. So, if we now let u equal x minus 3, if we differentiate both sides of this expression, we can say du is equal to dx. And then substituting all of that back into here, we can say that the integral is equal to du over u squared. There's u, so u squared is that part there, which is the same as this, which is the same as this. And dx is the same as du, so that's where the du comes from. So 1 over u squared is the same as u to the minus 2. So if we raise minus 2 by 1, we'll get u to the minus 1. And we divide by the new power, so that gives us minus u to the minus 1, plus the constant of integration. Now u is equal to x minus 3. So substituting that back in, we get minus brackets x minus 3 to the minus 1, or minus 1 over x minus 3 if you'd rather, plus the constant of integration. Part B. Now we have to integrate x squared minus 6 plus 8. So let's see if we can factorise the uh, denominator. So we put our brackets, we get the minus in, and if we factor 8, 2 and 4 are obvious factors to look at. As before, the 8 is positive, so the two signs here need to be the same. That's a minus 6, so it's probable they're going to be minus. So we're going to get x squared from there. We're going to get minus 2x and minus 4x, which gives us minus 6x. And minus 2 times minus 4 will give us plus 8, so that's correct. This means the denominator can be factorised into x minus 2 times x mi minus 4. So what we're going to try now is to see if there are two constants, a and b, that will allow us to split the this product up into two separate parts. If we multiply the a over x minus 2 by x minus 4, and we multiply the b over x minus 4 by x minus 2, then both sides will have the same denominator, which means the denominators will cancel. So that gives us 1, which is from here, a times x minus 4, which is there, and we've got b times x minus 2, which is there, and the denominators have cancelled. So if we expand the brackets and collect the terms, we've got a times x there and b times x there, which is what we've got from there. We get minus 4a here, and we get minus 2b here. Now let's compare the coefficients. If we take the terms with x in, on this side we've got a plus b, and on the left-hand side there are no terms with x in, which means that a plus b equals 0, so a is equal to minus b. Now we compare the terms without x in them, so on the left-hand side we've got 1, and on the right-hand side we've got minus 4a minus 2b. But if we substitute a for the minus b's, we're going to get minus 4a plus 2a is equal to 1. We need a bit of space, so let's move things up a bit. Right, for minus 4a plus 2a gives us minus 2a, so a is equal to minus a half. And if a equals minus a half, b is equal to a half. 
which means that we can rewrite the integral 1 over 2 which is b that's the minus x minus 4 term and that's the x minus 4 term remember the a is minus a half so I've so I've changed the order of the terms so we've got a half x minus 2 which is the a term there let's move it up so we get a bit more space integrate this that will give us log of x minus 4 and that will give us log of x minus 2 and we can take a constant half outside so there's our half bracket log of x minus 4 minus log of x minus 2 plus the constant of integration now as before log of x minus 4 minus log of x minus 2 is the same as log of x minus 4 over x minus 2 the half outside is the same as the square root of this bracket and that's the simplest expression for part b we know from parts a and b that we're not going to be able to factorize x squared minus 6x plus 7 so instead let u equal x squared minus 6x plus 7 and then if we differentiate that we're going to get du is equal to 2x minus 6 dx and if we substitute that back into the original integral we get one half outside of du over u so the u here is x squared minus 6x plus 7 the du here is dx and the numerator is x minus 3 and here we've got 2x minus 6 so we take a 2 onto the other side there it's good too isn't it so um, integrating 1 over u du is fairly straightforward that's log u um, and there's a constant of integration u is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 7 so we can substitute that back in there and remember that the half outside is the same as the square root of this bracket here so we can write it like that and that's the simplest way of writing part C